It was all about five main trends that I love for fall and that we are starting to see a little bit more in stories. So if you want to see the rest, of course, keep on watching. Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Hola, bienvenue dans le canal. Salut les amis, bon retour sur ma chaîne. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another week. This is another video of me. And before going any further, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It's free, full of adventure. Usually, I post two videos per week, which is on Tuesday and Thursday every single week. Just that next week, probably you're gonna get one video because I have something over the weekend. I will be out of town, so I'm um, always reachable and I'm always available. <laughs> It was all about the main trends for fall. I love fall. It's probably my favorite season of all. The summer where you have to be half naked because it's so, so, so hot outside. It was definitely, definitely a challenge. I think the first thing that I'm gonna say about this fall when it comes to trend, when it comes to clothing is that we are going back to the 90s, 80s vibe. It's vintage. Like, we kind of saw it already during summer polka dots it's all about the 90s 80s vibe and we've had it for the whole summer the first thing that actually is the most biggest huge thing ever and probably some of you if not all of you are aware of that by now it's like animal prints probably winter as well actually another fan of animal prints and you probably know me and i probably talked about it a little bit i feel and always felt like it was a little bit tacky but again when it comes to like how you're gonna style it that's where there's gonna be a difference selling piece that you choose being the cheetah print is super super open it could really get to the tacky vibe uh, really fast. The problem with animal prints that I have is that it's either tacky or too classic. It's really hard to have it in the middle. You have to learn how to balance your outfit if you have any animal prints in you. But the more I see it, the more I kind of see that it's possible to have it in a really nice fashion way still. I'm just gonna show you a bit of pieces that I was able to find that I think would be probably more of my style. I went to Zara, anything that I was looking at, I was just, oh, I couldn't do my best, but it was just too pretty for me. I'm not gonna show you something that I know for a fact that I'm gonna return back. So first thing is this boot from Zara. It definitely different. What I like the most about it is the cut. There's a cover vibe going on. Really love the fact that it's white and black, not brown and black. <laughs> I think that was a really good balance for me. Not a piece of cloth and it's not something that's gonna be too much in your face. Um, price at 99 Canadian dollars. Scarf, you know? It's still accessories. I have to have animal prints on me. Most of the time, it's gonna be accessories because I feel much more comfortable with it. Would do so many things with it and it's still subtle. If you're not a fan of that, get rid of accessories. I think it's better. I'm gonna show you a couple which I think you saw already because it was in my haul before. My beautiful chain necklace from ASAS. I wore it so many times that I'm actually proud of myself. I was at the point where I thought that I should stop buying jewelries because I just never wear them. Like I have my favorites, the rest is literally for decoration. But this one was pretty much and still pretty much is my favorite so far. In terms of design, I think it's really nice. It reminds you of the vintage right again. It everywhere. You have the big chains, you have the big necklaces, like everything makes you think about it. So it's probably one of my favorite and I'm all about vintage. Really nice vibe. I think you can do so much with it because options honestly are endless. Of course, my usual pants from Zara again. I did on sale it was 19 Canadian dollars cut because it's really white at the bottom with that slit okay that just really come to emphasize it even more it's super high waist which I love a lot and a trend that I'm gonna talk to you that I think is really really cute for fall came back from the 80s as well is the rushing details 
I'm gonna show you an example. It is this dress from Zara. I think it's a so 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 cute. The technique that was used in the 80s, really really Victorian with the sleeves. Um, at first, I wasn't sure about the dress for a couple of reasons. It's really pricey. It's like 129 Canadian dollars. I think you can find similar options less pricier and less expensive on other websites i'm pretty much sure of it a bit, a bit short on me or just a little bit weird on me <laughs> because of the rushing for break but i tried it up and i fell in love i was like no <laughs> why are you doing that to me you were not supposed to look nice on me now i can't say no to you i just can't <laughs> i'm gonna try to do a haul if i can or just a lookbook to show you what how I could style it. Really nice fabric as well because it's a little bit thick. It's enough, love it. <laughs> the fourth trend that I'll be talking about is Mimi dresses, if I can say it like that. You see on Pinterest or on any other like fashion trending type of website, big dresses like big boots all over your knee and with like big chunky boots really 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 i'm digging the look so much intro for the fall collection i'm telling you if i can put it somewhere i will but if you see it it literally sums up whatever i'm gonna say when it comes to like dreamy big flowy dresses i would i, I <laughs> yesterday i came up with the name for it it's like robin hood boots <laughs> I, <laughs> that thing just killed me i i love it <laughs> It's my inspiration here. The first thing that I thought about was that. The last one I'll be talking about. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's in my head. <laughs> it's uh, everything regarding the rust, the fall colors in general. There's even no point to talk about it because it comes like every year. It's like the fall colors, burnt orange, the rust. Uh, the burger, but this year we have a lot of like rust. So they are all really great colors when it comes to fall. Again, the thing I'm gonna show you it is leather, leather shorts. It comes with, I usually always go by like black leather, the classic one. And when I saw these shirts, I really, really love the color because it's like orange, but the burn dark orange, if I could say it, not super rust. It's like really in the orange type of vibe. And the color to me is the the thing that just make the shorts stand out even more. You can wear it literally with everything really, with sneakers, with boots, with a lot, a lot of stuff. With a long blazer just to mix match the style here again. The other one that I'm gonna show you which is probably my favorite color when it comes to fall is a skirt. I love the color more than the skirt. I think it's still a little bit big on me. I'm gonna show you in one of my lookbook. So just stay tuned for that. It's really a good option for fall. It's really thick. It's like a little bit heavy even, you know. The other thing that I would show you that could be nice for fall when it comes to color is this bag from Zara. So really colorful for fall. It's not black, so it's not super dark. Great option and I love the style of course. It reminds me of the Chloe bag, <laughs> minus the Chloe price of course. The last thing I'm gonna show you that would be really cool for fall when it comes to color is a trench coat from H&M. I bought it during spring. I burnt orange. It's more burnt orange than red. It looks so red on the camera. It's not as red. It can go really well with warm colors because it is a warm color. Really well with neutral colors as well because of the contrast. And when you want to just add something that's just gonna pop up without overdoing it. You see here, it goes really well with my blouse. A nice contrast but that actually goes really nicely together. Contrast, it looks amazing. I think I kind of summed it up here when it comes to trends for fall for this year that actually kind of like a little bit minus the animal prints if you are really big on animal prints you can go with so much so hope it helped you i hope it will help you for fall i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it i hope i'm gonna see you for my next video and of course all my details social media are gonna be down below my fashion magazine all the details are gonna be down below as well as my uh, make a wish program all the details will be down below as well. So I'm gonna see you for my next video. And let me know 
what was your favorite piece here or what is your favorite trend when it comes to fall for this year I can see all the time smile because it's free <laughs> bye Salut les amis, j'espère que vous avez adoré la vidéo, j'espère que vous avez aimé, aimé la vidéo. Comme vous le savez, parfois j'aime parler, parfois ça peut prendre des... du temps et du temps et du temps. Et j'adore, j'adore, j'adore le faire. Aujourd'hui, je suis vraiment venue avec les principales tendances pour cet automne. La plus grosse des tendances, c'est vraiment le côté euh, animalier. Le côté euh, imprimé, euh, imprimé léopard, euh, imprimé serpent. On a beaucoup, beaucoup d'imprimés dans cet automne. Ça va être de plus en plus d'ailleurs parce qu'on commence à les voir dans les magasins comme Azara, Enco, Forever 21, H&M. Ils n'en sont pas encore trop à ça, mais Zara, honnêtement, ils l'ont à fond. Je suis très fan de ces imprimés. J'ai jamais vraiment aimé ces imprimés à la base parce que j'aime ces imprimés. Il y a deux gros dangers. Si soit on y va dans le côté classique à fond, parce que c'est quand même des imprimés classiques soit on va dans le côté vulgaire à fond parce que c'est facile de l'avoir côté vulgaire très facile personne de savoir comment avoir une balance entre les deux moi je vous ai montré ce que personnellement je mettrais pour euh, un petit peu mettre dans cette espèce de tendance et tout je dirais avec des accessoires pour simplifier la chose je ne peux pas dire que je déteste mais je ne peux pas dire que j'adore au point de vouloir acheter et au point de vouloir le mettre soit je vais avec des bottes comme ce que je vous ai montré ou je vais avec euh, des foulards c'est une autre pièce qui est très versatile on peut l'avoir pour un sac à main on peut l'avoir à un autre bras, on peut l'avoir à un autre cou on peut l'avoir dans les cheveux et ça reste subtil, ça reste côté je dirais délicat sans trop en faire on a la grosse tendance vintage donc on a les grosses chaînes comme euh, les années 80-90 les grosses chaînes à brûlac les gros bracelets à brûlac on y va avec plus c'est gros mieux c'est et euh, ça reste vraiment dans l'esprit vintage et c'est quelque chose que j'aime énormément. Dans les années 80, on est vraiment dans l'esprit hein, pantalon en taille haute avec, avec des pattes d'éléphant. On va à fond dans cet esprit-là. La troisième, c'est des grosses robes victoriennes avec les bottes. Des bottes les bottes Robin des Bois parce que c'est des grosses bottes super hein, épaisses qu'on voit, qui sont là pour être vues. Et que je trouve reste vraiment belle parce qu'on les associe avec des longues robes. Alors, hein, ça fait très victorien. C'est un côté très victorien, un côté très bohémien, victorien. J'adore. Une des tendances qui, je dirais, revient chaque année, les couleurs de l'automne. On est de l'oranger, du rouge bourgogne. On a vraiment pas mal de coloris là-dedans. Le gros coloris qu'on voit de plus en plus, c'est la couleur rouille. C'est ce côté rouille côté orange brûlé j'ai envie de dire fantastique j'adore les couleurs d'automne à la base j'adore l'automne ma saison préférée les couleurs chaudes c'est j'adore c'est juste j'adore les couleurs d'automne montrer un petit peu des inspirations et tout j'espère que vous avez aimé j'espère que vous avez apprécié et bien évidemment sur mes réseaux sociaux sont en bas mon magazine tous les détails vont être en bas ainsi que mon make a wish programme tout va être en bas donc euh, si vous avez des questions n'hésitez surtout pas toujours joignable toujours là pour répondre aux questions n'hésitez pas je vais vous voir pour ma prochaine vidéo puis comme je le dis toujours à euh, souriez parce que c'est gratuit <rire> bye